So for today, we're going to be looking at Ouroboros Glance. This is the new black shader that we got this season. And I know people are going to be like, it's not completely black tone. You know, it, it is the most black shader we have in the game currently. And it's it's not wrong. It really is. It's just the fact that the off color is this orange, which I don't even think is a negative when you see what I mean in the later portion of this video. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below hopefully eververse will resell this again next week because that's when it was supposed to come up so hopefully they sell it back because i know people are going to be wanting to get this because it is a really really good shader so to start off we're going to be looking at plate armor and specifically you guys will notice two colors you guys are going to notice black and orange for the right side you guys are going to notice that that orange cloth is going to be the off color that's literally the off color for this color it's the only off color that i've noticed aside from the gray on the chest piece for the left side other than that it's pure black with orange hints in there uh which is also not a really bad thing which again i will i will explain further after we're done looking at the shader for the glow it's gonna be orange as well now it's funny because in my playlist shader video which that one should have been up by now and i'll have it up right now if you guys want to check it out i mentioned that i'm just not the biggest fan of orange this is the exception I think this orange is really, really good. And again, I'll explain later, but for now, this is, these are the colors you're gonna be uh, using for this. For cloth armor, you guys will notice that the one on the right side is actually pure black. And that's what I mean when I say this is the best black shader we have, because when you utilize pieces that don't have the orange cl color or use an armor set that doesn't have an off color, then you, you start to see that really rich black come in and it's really, really good. Granted, people are going to be clowning on you because fuck, I can't remember the word edgelord. Yeah, you're an edgelord hunter. Is you black, black? I don't give a fuck, bro. You take yourself too serious. I love black. That's literally my wardrobe. It's you're like 80% black, 10% white and the other 10% is like miscellaneous colors. So like me personally, I don't care. I don't have that like high horse of like, oh, a black hunter. Huh? I'm much better than you. Shut the fuck up. I don't care, dog. So I am definitely going to have a lot of black uh, stuff to go with this because it looks really, really cool. And then you see the left side, a lot of off color for the for the pants, the cloak, specifically the like uh, scarf thing. And then the helmet itself also has the off color. So at this point, if you're looking to like make a set that just has pure black, but you're using a piece that has an off color, then at that point you would switch that shader for something else, specifically like Amethyst Veil, other black shaders. There's other shaders out here that we could be using that has black in there as well. So don't feel like you need to switch out your armor set, go out and try to find some other black shaders. So that's pretty much it. Let me explain why I think this orange is not that big a deal. So the reason I actually like that orange for Erebus Glance is because this set right here. This is a set I made for two videos, actually, technically. The raid armor pieces for the Warlock, which I'll have up right now, and the technologic set for the Warlocks, which is the casual set for the Warlocks, which I'll have up right now as well. These two videos, I ended up using this armor set because I am using the technologic bond and the Erebus Glance for the Resonant Fury robes. Now, I'm not going to explain the set because I made I did that for those two videos. If you guys want to check out my explanation of onto why I use these pieces. The main reason why I'm showing you this is because I think the Aurobos Glands goes really well with the Omnicronia shader because the Omnicronia shader, specifically plate armor, you guys will notice that it's taking that like orange, like like chrome orange look for plate armor. And this way you can actually combine the Aurobos Glands with Omnicronia to come to have that color as well, for, but for cloth instead. So that's why I think the orange is actually really, really cool, because now you have either the choice of I just want pure black, like I'm going for a pure black hunter, warlock or titan, and I'm going to be using other pieces or other shaders with it to achieve that goal. Or you could do something like this where I'm using Omnicronia and I really want to have like that orange glow for my cloth armor as well so that way i can combine it with the armor pieces as well which is also really dope that's what i really like about this shader it's the fact that it's versatile you can do super really cool things with it that's why i like this shader so let me know what you guys think in the comments below are you guys excited for this shader let me know in the comments below did you guys pick it up hopefully like i said uh they re-released this shader because i do think it's probably one of the better shaders we have out right now but 
let me know what you guys think the next video we're going to be looking at the shaders from the season pass specifically the queen's guard valor and the dream tide daybreak which for the queen's guard valor it's actually going to be level six and for dream tide break daybreak it's going to be for level 40 so be, be looking out for that video let me know what you guys think in the comments below thank you all for the constant support i really do appreciate you all be safe and i'll see you guys later